Hey everybody, welcome back to Rock and JC's Go Farm. First off, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my video. It really helps me out. But I'm currently out here in the goat pen, doe's pen. I've given a few of my girls that are, for the most part, kind of skittish cookies so that they'll eventually, you know, warm up to you and be a lot more friendlier than just wanting to run off. So that's what these girls were all excited about a minute ago. I brought them cookies. And so now they're, okay, we're done. We're gonna go up on to our own. So this one right here, that is Jolene. She was one of my skittish ones, along with this little white one. Her name is Pearl. She was one of my skittish ones, along with um, Bijou right there. She's kind of skittish, but not real skittish, but my real skittish skittish ones out of all my girls is this one way over there. Her name is Inferno. So she'll take cookies from me, but she still will not let me pet her. Not like some of these other girls. Oh my goodness, look at Lily. Look at her belly. That girl is a little bit more than uh, three months along. And if I'm lucky, she'll maybe give me two kids. But she still has a little ways to go, so we'll see. Some of these younger ones, you can definitely tell who's a first timer and who isn't. Like Miss Calliope here. This is definitely not her first time of having a set of kids. Along with some of these older girls. A lot of these older girls have had kids once before. The only one that's gone on her second freshening is Miss Bertha right there. This will be her second kidding with me. Um, and she was a great mom. She produced really well. <laughs> we got Miss Hill here saying hi. But uh, yeah, Inferno, which is right here. Dippin' Dot, which is right there. Lily. Um, then you have Cassia, which is right over there by the water. And who else? Oh, and then this Scarlet right here in the house who's getting some minerals, which I love getting videos of. It's her first time having kids as well. So, as you can tell, everybody is looking much better. Um, I still have a couple that I would like to see gain a little bit more weight. But, um, like Bertha, I don't know how much weight I'm going to be able to get back on her. When I first got her, she was a pretty good sized goat to the point where I could barely even hold on to her when she ran off. But she's definitely looking better than she was. But it would definitely be nice to get a little bit more meat on her bones. As you can see, you can still see her rumpus here. And I'm not real happy with it, but hey, she's also a dairy goat. And uh, they're all over me at the moment. They're still smelling the cookies that I leave in my pocket. So, yeah, everybody's getting bigger and healthier. And I have no more cookies, girls. No more cookies. So most of these girls are the skittish girls, which is why they're following me. They still think I have cookies and I have nothing sillies. Miss Sky Sky here is one of my first bred Kikos that I have raised out of Calliope and I got Calliope along with most of these girls from Fisher Price Ranch. So there are very good quality, not top quality, but very good quality goats and some that I got from her that were just yearlings which is like Pebbles was right there, Scarlet, Inferno, those three I got from her as yearlings along with Cassia here. So let's go check and see what the mineral buffet is looking like. So typically, as you can see, they look low, but I don't fill a lot of them to the top. They are going through my copper like crazy still. And then phosphorus, they go through pretty heavy, so we fill that one pretty heavily along with molybdenum. Um, but a lot of these other ones, I don't really fill up too full 
just because they don't really go through a heavy amount of these particular minerals. So yeah, I will have a few that I will have to refill by this evening. But I come out here, I want to say at least, oh, pardon me, at least twice a day <laughs> and just check on everybody, make sure nobody's, you know, hurt or bleeding or scratched up or in any sort of distress. So that's kind of what I do generally on my mornings where I have nothing going on. So Miss Scarlet in front of me. Hey, sweet girl. Yeah, she is my attention goat. She will go through anything to get attention. So, all right guys, well for now that's my update. I have one more little update to show you that I have not been able to update on. As you guys know that I started my rabbit habitat. Um, I had two that are currently, were recently bred, not recently, in the last month were bred. And I will show you an update on that. Stay tuned. Back up to the front of the house and I, Hachi here, yeah, I call him Blackie. I cannot pronounce his name to save my life. And then we've got Baby and Mama in here. And then we've got Miss Kate over here. Can you say hi, pretty girl? Can you say hi? She's kind of skittish. I've been working with her, but yeah. Let's say hi to everybody. Hi, baby. Can we back up? Ow. And then in here, I have two little babies. They were born a few days ago, so they have a little bit of fur on them. But that's all she gave me, two little bitty babies. That's all I got. Hi, baby. And then I made this one, baby, because it was my last one out of the nine that she had over the summer. And so her name is just Baby, while I have babies in the nest. So, yeah. She definitely likes to say hi. All right, baby. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.